Hi Vibes everybody. Uh, I wanted to get on here and make a video today about motivation. Now, motivation could come in many different forms and many different ways. But the more that you start to do your searching on everything, you'll see that motiva motivation can really help out with what you got going on. And by that, what I mean is using that motivation to actually change your environment and doing the things that you want to be doing and the things that you see yourself doing in the future and actually having the motivation to keep going and actually doing it. So a lot of people, when they start on their journey and their path, they'll start being motivated to do certain things because they're getting excited. They're starting to get these new experiences for the first time. And, you know, everything's new and exciting, so you're motivated to keep doing more. But after a while, you know, that, that same excitement that you had at the beginning, it starts to die down. Now, when that excitement starts to die down, you then start to lose your motivation to keep pushing yourself forward, keep striving to do better and learn more. And you can't let the fact that now these experiences aren't new or that maybe you know, it's not as exciting as before actually hinder your growth and hinder your motivation to keep going forward. Because the more you stay motivated to keep doing it, the more you're actually going to get results out of it. You know, when you're not motivated, you're not putting into action. When you're not motivated, you're not seeing the results. When you're not motivated, you don't you don't realize the full picture of what's going on and the importance of what you might actually be doing because you're not motivated to actually even look that deep into it. And even if you are motivated to look into it, like on that level, you might not be no motivated to actually put that um, at that into actual action at that point. So I want people to start you know, realizing that when you start having this motive, when you start having this lack of motivation, you want to make sure that you keep striving forward and keep putting in that extra effort to stay motivated, to give yourself new ideas, to give yourself that new energy to keep going and pushing yourself forward. You know, don't ever let your momentum start backing up just because you were starting to you know lose that motivation. And if you are starting to lose that motivation, start finding different ways to keep your motivation. And if you are putting in the work and the effort, you'll start to see your motivation and you start to see yourself get more motivated, more active, more more inclined to do certain things, more inclined to do all your spiritual, mental, physical practices that you do in order to keep raising up and keep, you know, you know striving forward and doing what you have to do. So make sure that you are looking at what actually motivates you, like on the deeper level, what is actually motivating you to do these things? Is it your ego? Is it spirit? Is it the people around you? Because motivation can come in many different forms and ways. We just have to figure out exactly why these different things are happening and actually see if those are actually helping us stay motivated because, you know, different things can motivate you. You know, your ego can motivate you, but it's about what is it going to motivate you to do? What is it going to motivate you to keep going and going forward and doing? Is it going to have you start turning down? It's going to have you start doing all these ego-based actions? You know, most likely it will. But then when you start getting motivated by, by spirit or also getting motivated by people that are in that higher vibration who are actually striving to do more, then you'll start to see that the way in which you actually use that motivation is different. You're actually utilizing the motivation to actually get you the full uh, experience, the full efforts, the full benefits of what you're actually doing. You're not getting part of the picture. You know, I keep saying, you know, make sure you're not just getting part of the picture. Make sure you're getting the full picture. So make sure that you are looking into why this, why you're motivated and how that motivation actually interacts with what you're doing. You know, I did that, that video on your inner actions affecting your interactions you know your what's going on on the inside actually affecting how you, you know navigate everything that's going on outside so you know make sure that you stay motivated throughout this time you know especially if you're going through a dip if you're going through those hard times you know it's very hard to stay motivated and keep keep that energy and keep that effort to be pushing yourself forward and striving to do more and, and get better with yourself so don't ever feel like just because you're going through those those negative dips that now you know say you you you're losing those motivation you now you're you're like okay it doesn't matter anymore because i'm still going through this dip and even if i'm motivated to do these things it's not going to help you know that type of mentality is not going to help you out of the situation you know looking at you know, you should always look at both sides of it. You know, look at it, whether it's going to help you, whether it's going to hurt you. But then you should also look at is weigh those pros and cons to see, 
if they're actually pros and cons and how the pros and cons affect what you're doing because there's different different ways to this there's different uh, methods to it where you might be like okay there are certain cons that I don't want oh, excuse me sorry but um that I don't want to to have happen to me but then at the same time by doing this the pros actually outweigh those little bit of cons that you were having you start having more more time more effort more energy to do certain things you start seeing the the effects of you actually putting in that work and getting that motivation and striving forward so make sure that you're staying motivated in everything that you do make sure that you have that motivation to keep striving forward and not start falling off you want to make sure that you're using you know everything around you everything that you have in order to keep pushing you forward and then start noticing when you're going through these negative dips start noticing when you're starting to slow down when that momentum is starting to slow down because that's the time when you really need to start picking up that motivation you really need to start finding what is you no know, what is lighting that fire within you what's that lighting that fire under you to keep moving keep striving forward and pushing you forward to keep the the momentum is driving like a train like a like a bullet like a like a plane like everything that um or anything that goes really fast you know it's faster than light you know fa- you know as fast as energy and how energy interacts you want to you know have that momentum and have that motivation to keep yourself pushing forward so you know when you are lacking in ideas for motivation that's when you can start coming to your your spiritual family you can start coming to the people that have a higher vibration and have a higher understanding of different things and start to see if you can get some more motivation but at the same time you don't want that to be your crutch you don't want to always be depending on getting the motivation from others because the true motivation, the real motivation is when you start having motive, when you're motivated from within, when you see that, OK, what's happening is actually what I want to have happen. I want this motivation. I want to keep striving for it because all that other motivation really doesn't matter. Because you're getting stuff from the outside and everything, but because you have to be motivated within, because only a, only a certain amount can actually be given to you for somebody else. You know, the spark can be given, but you have to light that fire. You have to tend that fire. And if you can't tend that fire, then you're not going to have the proper motivation to keep pushing forward and keep doing the things that you might want to be doing. So when you start realizing that, you know, all these other motivations, you know, might not even be what you need to be focusing on because. You know, yeah, they will help, you know, make sure that you're, you're taking those opportunities to keep pushing yourself forward. But it's only going to take you so far. You have to put in that effort, put in that work yourself to, to strive to have that motivation yourself. Don't don't get to the point where now you can't think of any motivation. You don't have that inner fire, that inner spark to in order to keep going, because when somebody tries to spark your fire, there's nothing there to spark because now you've gotten to a point to where your motivation is gone. No, and there's even a point to where you might feel like you're motivated and you're doing something, but it's actually a false motivation. It's actually a false belief that you're having about what's going on because you start because you're perceiving it from a different area. You're perceiving it from the ego. You're not perceiving it from your higher self and your higher thoughts. So make sure that you are going through and seeing how these things are affecting you. You're seeing how the how your motivation can drive you to do more. Don't stop. No, finding the motivation within because when you find the motivation within it's not just going to be one thing that motivates you you know certain people might be able to motivate you in a certain way certain situations might be able to motivate you in a certain way but once you start getting motivated from within when you start seeing that motivation that you have within yourself that's when you actually start you know making those efforts and making those strides to go forward because without the proper you know energy from within you know within yourself then you won't be able to you know achieve that that certain level of motivation that certain level of awareness to where you're actually starting to raise up you're actually starting to see the different things that are happening to you you're actually starting to see that hey my life is getting better because without that motivation you're not going to get better you're not going to keep striving forward you're going to start falling off you're going to start going down you don't want to start going down you want to keep striving forward and pushing up and going higher and higher and with, without that proper motivation then it's not going to happen you can get certain from certain people. And I'm going to keep stressing this because there's only a certain level that you can get from the outside. You have to go within. I've said it many times. You have to go within in order to be to get these different answers. But then you also have to go within to get that motivation. 
Can't nobody give you that proper motivation, that true motivation that's going to get you those results, get you that spiritual experience, get you that mental and physical experience that you're actually looking for. No, start bringing people together and start getting that energy together to what is actually going to start making those changes. Only you can bring that motivation and bring that energy from within for yourself. And then once you start to see that, then your motivation is even going to start changing to where now you're not only motivated for yourself. You're now you're not only motivated for certain things. You're actually motivated for the bigger picture. You're motivated to do more. You're motivated to see more. You're motivated to, to interact more. Now you want to start coming together. Your motivation is now start, starting to be focused. That's the main thing. Like So after you go through all those different levels of motivation, because I started off talking about the basic levels of motivation, you know, where you're starting to get it from the outside and you're starting to see yourself strive forward and get higher and do more. But then after you move past that, then you need that inner motivation to keep going forward. You need that inner motivation to keep you striving forward and doing the things that you want to be doing. Because without the inner motivation, none of that even matters. So I want you guys to make sure that you're thinking about it because there's no reason for you to be going throughout your life and not being motivated to do the things that you know that you need to do or the things that you want to do. So you have to make sure that you have that proper motivation within yourself, that proper motivation to keep you striving forward. Don't let the distractions stop you from being motivated into doing what you want to do, doing the things that you know you need to be doing. You know, I, I talk all the time about, you know, going within and using those experiences and observations in order to change your environment, to in order to change the way you think, to transform your knowledge, transform your perspective. But without that motivation, none of that stuff even matters because at a certain point, you're not going to be motivated. It's going to stop. And all that work that you're putting in now is null and void. It doesn't even matter. So just with that, you have to think about how deep it goes to actually be motivated, to actually have that motivation to see where you're going, to actually have the motivation to keep pushing forward. Because a lot of people, they like to stop. They don't, they don't keep going forward with the, what they're trying to do. The level of motivation that they have just starts to really start lacking that passion, that true love for what you're trying to do. And see, that's the thing too. Motivation is not just motivation to get that physical, spiritual, mental, no experience. It's motivation that, that strives from within. It's the motivation that strives from a base love that you have of yourself. And not only the base love you have of yourself, but those around you. Because once you start seeing the motivation through that frequency of love, then you can get a lot more out of it. So make sure that you are going within that you are seeing that true motivation from within not what you're seeing from the outside not what you're getting from them and there which where you're getting from yourself how are you wanting to strive better for yourself because nobody can do it for you nobody can keep coming in you know after a while when people keep coming in and they keep trying to give you that motivation yeah they want to start making sure that they're doing their things so their motivation to help you is now going to be gone they're going to direct that motivation. They're going to direct that energy and focus somewhere else. So don't pass up those opportunities when they come. When those opportunities come for you to be able to get that proper motivation and get that energy behind you to start going forward and striving forward to do more, don't miss out on those opportunities. Don't think that, oh, man, this and this is going to happen. That's not going to happen. I don't want this. You know, you got to you got to get all that stuff out of your head. Get get your ego out of it and start seeing, OK, what is the base what is the root of the problem? What's the root of the situation that I'm trying to get? Not even the problem. What's the root of the solution? What's the base solution? How am I going to get to where I'm going to go? So you can't let you know, these little things. And really, truly, it is little things when you think about it. You know, these little things that stop you from being motivated actually stop you. Because you are a limitless being that has you no know, that higher potential to do more. So you can use all of that. To motivate you to keep going forward but that's pretty much all i wanted to say in this video i want you all to really take that time to go within and see where your inner motivation comes from and also see where all the other motivation that you're getting from the outside because that because again all your interactions your interactions how you're interacting with people affect your interactions what's on the inside so once you see what it what is motivating you from the outside 
you'll start to see, okay, it's because it's triggering something within me that I actually want to actually striving for my motivation to start burning brighter and start burning um, no stronger, no hotter and start actually building up that momentum. So keep putting in the work and keep striving for you no know, more motivation from within. But that's all I wanted to say to you guys, you know, my full love and my gratitude to everyone who watches my videos. And I want you all to keep striving forward. I love you all and I want you all to just keep you know, creating those experiences for yourself and transforming your perspective, your knowledge, your environment. And you transform all these things into the way that you want it to be, the way that you're going to be able to make you know, better strides for yourself. But um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Peace in and out. My full love gratitude and my highest of vibrations.